we looked at some of the major sources of English words, the language, the languages that are behind most of the vocabulary of English, the old English base, the large number of French words, borrowings from Latin, and of the other languages, ancient Greek being the number one. But within a few percent, some estimate around 1%, maybe up to a few, there are words coming from languages all over the world in English. And although they make up a small proportion of the overall vocabulary, uh, they certainly have a lot of interesting flavor that they bring to the English language. So this list uh, here is a nice collection of many of them. And uh, something I recommend, if you are a speaker of any of these languages, um, look up some of the words that come from your language or just any language that you're interested in. Uh, you can see uh, quite a uh, collection here. So if you just look at some of these languages, uh, they often come in uh, certain fields. Like there's, there's usually some kind of reason why a particular language becomes a source for vocabulary and often uh, it's in certain specialized areas. Um, so of course, like here we have for Arabic, uh, for the Islamic religion, those terms, a lot, a lot of them are specifically in Arabic, so that's no surprise. But also interesting that a lot of uh, astronomy uh, was, uh, it was influenced through the Arabic uh, astronomy, Arabic scholarship. So a lot of our star names are in Arabic. So if you start talking about the names of different stars in the night sky, you may end up speaking uh, a lot of Arabic. And same you see here with, with botany, with different names for different plants, uh, also in textiles. So you see the, eat, the by seeing the areas that each language uh, is called on for, you really get a picture of the way that this language particularly uh, had an influence. And of course, cuisine. Now, this is something that you see for pretty much any language, any cultural area. Their, their food, food names are almost like the most likely names to be taken from another language. So if a, you know, a culture has its own cuisine and then English speaking people start to want to try and eat that food, uh, that is the easiest way for words to come into English. And of course, musical instruments uh, as well. And so take a look at uh, in Russian, well, all sorts of common ones uh, and um, quite, a, quite a collection mixed in there. Then, of course, Russian cuisine. Um, also, the, you know, through Russian had a lot of uh, political influence. A lot of this is, you know, from the Soviet uh, era. So uh, these sort of political terms came in. A lot of uh, Soviet flavor vocabulary coming in. Um, and okay, Russian Orthodox religion, and also interesting uh, technical and, and scientific terms, terms like cosmonaut, um, and uh, we have some plant, oh, and of course animals and plants, that would be another thing that would be common for each language, uh, whatever the local animals and plants of the area of that language, that would be a common way to bring in these, these foreign words. You can even see, of course, Japanese is another interesting source that uh, we have Japanese culture having a very strong influence. So things like anime, um, you know, haikus. And so this, these are uh, many very strong words here. Um, business philosophy like Kaizen is brought in. Uh, fashion like kimonos and of course, uh, all sorts of Japanese food terms, uh, as you see, um, terms from, from Japanese history, and of course, martial arts. So it's, only, it's like the area, the size and the areas of the vocabulary brought in from each language really gives you uh, a picture into the cultural influence of that language on English speakers. And even you see a case like for, for Hawaii, 
We have the word ah uh, uh which is a very fun word to say. Maybe can have special application in uh, Scrabble, a two-letter word, AA. Um, and uh, you know, aloha uh, and, uh, and so on. So I uh, recommend this uh, page uh, for really uh, exploring the vocabulary of different languages in English. And um, you may find some interesting surprises.